Let's factor the equation x squared plus 7x minus 30. And we'll use these guidelines here to help us do that. First thing we want to do is set up a skeleton equation. So here's our skeleton equation. Now we can add the signs into our skeleton equation. See, we have a positive and a negative, and it's as if the last term here is negative. We're going to put a positive and a negative in our skeleton equation. Next, we want to find the factors for the last term. That's the 30, the negative 30 here, and they should add up to that middle term, 7. If I list the factors for 30, here's what I get. And as I look at these, I can see the difference between 3 and 10. The difference there is 7. So what I can do is I could put 10 here and then 3 here because 10 minus 3, that gives me the 7. So they add up to the middle term. So we factored the equation x squared plus 7x minus 30. We should check our work with the FOIL method. So we multiply the first, the outside, the inside, and then the last terms, and we get, and we can combine these terms right here and this is what we started with. So we did this part correctly. We correctly factored the equation x squared plus 7x minus 30. Let's briefly find the values for x that'll make this side of the equation 0. 0 equals 0. That's a true statement. So we say x plus 10 equals 0, x equals a negative 10, and then x minus 3 equals 0, x equals 3. If you put negative 10 in for x, all of this will add up to zero. If you were to put three in for x, all of this would add up to zero as well. If you use the quadratic equation, you would end up with these same numbers. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus 7x minus 30. Thanks for watching.